everyone! Hope you are excited about drawing on location. In this video, we will be drawing with pen and ink a cute and simple house and I'll share with you the process in real time. As you see, I'm sitting in front of the house. It is a nice late afternoon on a summer day. There are a few clouds, so the light will be changing constantly. This is a beginner-friendly video because the subject is quite simple and I'll show you the full step-by-step -step process in real time. That's actually why there will be a following video showing the watercolor painting part. So, I am sitting comfortable on a pliable chair. If you love urban sketching, a chair like this is a must-have. For drawing, I use a simple mechanical pencil and I have a Canson XL watercolor sketchbook. Later on, I will be using a fountain pen and waterproof ink. So I like to start with a pencil sketch and draw the main element using simple geometric shapes. Then with pen and waterproof ink, I'll draw more details and better define the parts of the house. Now a few quick facts. The house is in one point perspective as I am looking at it frontally. The horizon line is quite low because I am sitting on the chair so my eye level is lower than if for example I would have been standing. In order to draw this house with good proportions, it helps if you simplify it and start with simple geometric shapes like rectangles, trapezoid squares and after that further define those shapes into smaller and more detailed elements like windows, chimney, parts of the fence and so on. Sketching a location is quite different than sketching in your studio. There are a few more distractions that can appear, but that's also what makes it more fun and special. You also get to better know the vibe of the place and enjoy your time outside. During the lockdown, we all have spent so much time inside. Now I feel so much joy just being outside on this beautiful summer day. By drawing on location, you also develop different skills than the ones you develop in your studio. You practice a lot to observe the subject in front of you and drawing from observation is super important. You also get to know how the light and shadow play around and how fast they actually change. If you don't feel comfortable yet with drawing outdoors on location, don't worry, it does take quite some time to get used to it. Try to start by going to places you already know, like and feel comfortable with. If you feel overwhelmed or don't see the expected results, it might be because you are putting too much pressure on yourself. My advice is to start with simple subjects, get familiar with the process of sketching on location, build up that confidence and slowly move to more complex subjects. Take your time, there is no need to rush. If you'll paint this house, feel free to share it with me via social media or through email. And please don't forget to tag Color Art Emotion. In the next video, we will be painting this house with watercolor. And by the way, if you haven't downloaded my free guide with watercolor artists for inspiration, go and grab it by following the link in the description below. It is a list with amazing watercolor artists, both contemporary and old masters, that will help you with finding inspiration and you'll learn a lot just by analyzing their works. I also provided more info and links to their tips and tricks and places where you can learn from them. Now, enjoy the rest of the video!